a strong woman looks a challenge into the eye and gives it a wing today on photo club india in the segment of unveil your passion we have a very strong dynamic empowering and a very good friend shweta saxena shweta has several feathers in her hat she has done so much work not only for herself but for society and especially for women she has created and taken initiative in launching several platforms for women centric causes like not small when she was in nottingham when i got to know her uh, this group was basically for women who were socially lonely to come together share their experiences talk about it and find a solution and we have kanya ishala which is uh it's it's a school like on a move for uh children and the privileged children basically she also started internationally and globally work for mental health awareness children campaign she's been active into it she's been giving idea she's been interviewing people so carrying on to this inspirational journey we have the founder shweta saxena who has shown and led the world that all things happen and happen for a reason this inspirational woman has set up a brand of purpose led handbags called india art bags these india art bags are made by women from underprivileged backgrounds these women have been given an opportunity to learn a skill and to develop their lives and become self sufficient financially absolutely noble a cause to set up this kind of an organization and give them a chance and opportunity to develop their life hats off to your endeavors uh, shweta and thanks for being a part of this show and showing the world that everything has a purpose and we learn from every part of your journey thank you very much for coming on the show with us firstly uh, namaste to both uh, wonderful ladies welcome shweta <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on your lovely, lovely show. I have seen your previous episodes, and uh, this is the best way of encouraging the entrepreneurs and their journeys to whatever little bit we could to connect with each other during COVID, especially. So, thank you for thinking about me and my brand. Welcome, welcome, Shweta. Privilege is all ours. <laughs> so, what exactly is this start startup about, and how do you come across this idea? everything just tell us all about it. i found that art is something i really connect with although i'm not a very good artist i've never been i'm horrible <laughs> at art <laughs> but um, yeah whenever there is some art especially indian art around me it makes me very happy um and that's when i thought why not art bags because handbag is something that a woman has a whole collection of it in a wardrobe Hmm. It will never go out of fashion, no matter it's COVID or not. Thinking business wise, and uh, that was my first choice, handbags. And then I thought, why not hand painted bags, the art bags? So that's how the whole concept started. And I mean, the opportunity that you've given to the woman to become self-sufficient in itself is 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 a kudos to the whole project of of what you See. have. got yourself into but what intrigues me is is the name as well that is india art bags and you spelt it i want to just correctly spell it i n d i y a so how did you come up that come about with that name and how did you choose and and what was the story behind it to choose that name honestly when i started i had started with the uh, western women designs and figures but thanks to my uh, some very special friends and mentors during this journey they mentioned why not indian art why not showcase indian women and then i was like yes this is where my heart lies and thanks to them that i was able to um give a new uh, whole concept redefine my brand change the name and all that all it was shwetha and now it's india why india because i honestly want this brand to represent what my country is my country is not just what we pay few years ago wanted to portray through 
Shweta, I'm pretty sure like like every initiative, every endeavor, anything you do, they're going to be set of challenges. It's not, nothing is a, like a piece of cake or a walk in a park. So what sort of challenges you came across and how did you overcome them? So that takes a lot of time. It's not easy. It takes a lot of sitting with the family, meeting them very frequently, making them understand to try this kind of group for their uh, family member, wife especially. Um, secondly, once she's ready, she needs to be trained because uh, they are not very uh, finished artists. So we need to hire the senior artists to train them. And thirdly, once they're ready and they start working, suddenly you never know, you get a phone call, Pati ne mana kar kya hai. So you go back to level zero. Yeah. And again, such a similar woman and training her and get on board. This is the biggest challenge I have been facing. Yeah, and it's so. also about their mind block as well, their fear, their inhibitions, the anxiety of coming out in the world, doubting themselves. And if you're giving them that opportunity to stand up on their two feet and, and make something of their own lives is, is an absolute commendable uh, task and an absolutely commendable absolutely. project. Thank you. So. But it is very heartbreaking when I can see and feel that the woman wants to do it. I know. But just because of the family pressure, she is not able to do Otherwise, she can be much more better in her life. She can improve her life, her family's life, financially. True. True. Just and the work. kid's life, yeah. She can be a role model yeah. for her yeah. kids, yeah. isn't it? That also yeah. shows that women still have a lot of freedom. Freedom of yeah. choice, freedom yeah. of being financially independent Absolutely. for herself. That's and Shweta, that. it's not just for those women. I think this goes for women in general. At large. Yeah, at large. So, from, from being a charity worker, from being a social worker, from being a, uh, a, 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 a channel a producer, director, and empowering woman, uh, from being a bringing up kids learn new skills about computers and 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 other aspects uh, what what are your future plans and wh where do you see yourself uh, a year from now and and what what are your your thoughts on that uh, i want to stick to this startup and i i want to see me or through this startup giving a lot of employment opportunities and uh, financial stability opportunities to a lot of women um, especially from the underprivileged backgrounds and uh, they growing, their families growing this, nothing like it. This will give me a peaceful sleep at night and there is a little drop in the ocean I'm going to. Is there any tips, message or any hints for anyone who wants to do a startup or probably get into a field they, they want to unveil their passion and you know get into a business stream so what would be your message for them? My honest message will be, of course, when you think of a startup or business, you need funds. But more than funds, you need people, the right people, the right team to go ahead. So make sure you're not just accumulating money for your business to kickstart, but you also have the right team in your, on your mind. You also start filtering people or going out there in the market, searching for the right vendors, doing your homework, and then yeah. jumping out and doing a swim. Otherwise, you will have a hard time drowning. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do yeah. your research well. Yeah. Money yeah. doesn't help as yeah. far as business is concerned. It's the secondary guy felt. I would say this is another feather in your heart, Tweta, which is dynamic entrepreneur, which we see in you. She's not only doing for herself, she's doing for the society. She's giving back as well, more than she's receiving, I believe, because I bet it's not an easy ride. But seeing your story, seeing your journey, seeing you talking to you, I think I'm definite and I'm sure many women like us would at least give it a go. Thank you. And I would like to take this opportunity to once again uh, you know, deals with time, switch my rabbit because when I mentioned about wonderful, beautiful mentors who have helped me to redefine my brand, it was switch my rabbit. So oh, no. 
thank you thank you so much for uh, sharing us sharing with us your journey of of uh, different aspects and i think you are a true true inspiration for everybody around and photo club india and our segment of unveil your passion is is truly you are an example of it so thank you thank you photo club india and thank you love please happy thank you shweta and you're most welcome anytime anything love you loads thank you thank you pile